Hey, what's up, guys? Figured I'd do a little video here. Um, just picked up one of these uh, Alpha Cool uh, Ice Wolf 2. It's an AIO for the 6800 XT. It's the Sapphire Nitro version. Um, as you can see, I have the Ice Wolf, or uh, I guess that's the Ice Bear 420 AIO. Um, what's cool about these Alpha Cools is that they have these quick release. Um, and they're fillable, you know, so you can, you know, service to things. But anyway, the video today I wanted to talk about was this AIO. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's got this uh, aluminum back plate that came with it. It's pretty nice. Easy to install. Um, these hoses here, both of them are the quick release. And they go to the 360 millimeter radiator. The hoses are pretty, you know, pretty long there. I don't know. Uh, I'd say about 17 inches maybe 16 17 inches so I mean and this is a big case so it, it reached the front of the case no problem um, but if you always wanted to you could you know make one one loop you know loop them all together and you got a pump here and then the pump there that kind of you, you know cycle everything through um, I kind of kept them separate not that that really does anything different I think it's a couple degrees cooler if you keep it separate um, but yeah, you can hear it's pretty quiet. I have the fans on the lowest speed that they will go. I think it's a thousand RPMs. Um, the RGB effects on the light itself is really good. I got it tied into the motherboard and it, it does sync up well with the other Alpha Cool stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been fantastic performance wise. Um, as you can see here, I have it, you know, pretty good overclock. Uh, everything's pretty, you know, pretty uh, tuned up there. Let's see, current temperature 53, junction temp of 70. I'm running heaven benchmark here in the background. Uh, let's see, so 71 was the highest it's reached. And I've been running it for about 8 minutes now. Um, so, I mean, just whisper quiet. I mean, I think I have the pump on the highest speed that it will go. Um... Yeah, I mean it just it's fantastic running this. I think uh when I was playing Destiny 2, I got what uh I don't know, 39 degrees uh for the normal GPU temp and like 51 for the junction temp. And to me that's fantastic while you're gaming. Now obviously that's Destiny 2, so it's not the most demanding game on on the planet, but when you figure it's overclocked the way it is and it's only you know, that's you know, it's a heavy load on it, and it's doing, it's doing that well now. Um, definitely worth it. I mean, I think it was like two sixty something for the AIO kit. Comes with the radiator and three fans, um, the the Alpha Cool fans, and the and the new Alpha Cool fans are really good. They're called the Alpha Cool Rise fans, and those things do a really good job. They're pretty quiet, and they do a really good job. Um, uh, that's a thirty nine hundred X in there, by the way. Actually, that, that can get pretty toasty when you're running it pretty hard. Um, this down here, not even that warm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was pretty easy. To, it comes all ready to go. It has, um, has comes with instructions. It comes with the thermal paste. It comes with all the directions you need. Um, the thermal pads, it, it, they're all individually in bags. So... You know they are, they're all labeled, so you know where to put them. And there's a nice diagram that they give you to show you where to put the pads. It was pretty self-explanatory. I don't know, maybe it took about an hour to put it on. I took my time and cleaned the whole PC out as well. So, uh, okay, let's see if I can pull this up for you guys. So I'm going to stop this, and we'll go right to the website right now and look at it. That way you guys have a good idea of what you're getting into here. And then, let's see, oh, so cool. I've been waiting for this thing forever. It just recently came out for, it was in the UK or wherever these guys are from here. And it wasn't able to come to it. It wasn't in America yet, I guess because of all the shipping problems. But it's 267 here, um, but then it costs like 55 for shipping, so I wasn't waiting for that. 
Um, but yeah, that's the thing there. Has its, you know, has its own pump built into it and quick connects, which is really nice. I disconnected these when I put them on the graphics card and then just hooked them back up. Um, a little bit of water drips out, you know, when you disconnect them, but nothing crazy. Let's see, get some more pictures going. I mean, just great build material, build quality. Super quiet, runs good. I mean, RGB control, great radiator. I mean, just a good all around kit. I mean, it comes with the, the, the fan splitter there, so you can run three fans off of one header. RGB splitter, and that, you know, I didn't even need that because it just tied into the rest of the Alpha Cool stuff I had. Um, all the stuff you need to put it together is pretty simple. Um, does really well. Um, and just just the the ability to overclock the way I did and not have to worry about it overheating or even pushing it hard. I mean, I can get 22,000 on a graphics score on time spy, which is kind of crazy. But, uh, but, yeah, I mean, we can... If you guys want more information on this, just let me know, and I'll do my best to uh, accommodate you guys. If you guys want me to do anything, any more testing, any game testing before and after um, the overclock, and see what kind of overclock you can get. So, um, anyway, yeah, just let me know, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Bye.